Hopes of a Halloween breakthrough in the Brexit trade talks are rising after Michel Barnier offered to extend his stay in London until Wednesday. The EU's Brexit chief has also agreed to stage a second round of intensified wrangling over an EU-UK trade agreement in Brussels immediately after talks break up in the capital. British officials, led by Lord Frost, the Prime Minister's lead negotiator, will travel to Belgium to further accelerate the process on Thursday. Both sides have been locked in weekend talks over a draft legal text after Mr Barnier dropped his demands for British concessions before finally putting pen to paper on the Brexit deal. European diplomatic sources have claimed parts of the agreement, such as police cooperation and transport ties, shouldn't be that difficult to finalize in the coming days. An EU official said, negotiations will continue in London until Wednesday before moving to Brussels on Thursday. The rows over future access to Britain's fishing grounds and common standards, including controls over state subsidies for businesses, remain key sticking points. But despite both sides' differences, Mr Barnier was said to be confident agreements can be found. In a private briefing with EU diplomats last week, the Frenchman's deputy said he was willing to ensure negotiations are given a last chance to succeed, according to a source familiar with the discussions. A second source hinted EU and UK negotiators would unlikely emerge from their all-out efforts to find a deal until the end of next week. It's going to be intense, the source added. Northern Ireland Secretary Brandon Lewis said the decision to extend the London talks was a very good sign. He told the BBC, the fact that Michel Barnier has outlined in the last week or so that they are going to come back and do these intensive negotiations, he recognizes the EU do need to move, and that he is staying through to next week, is a totally very good sign. We have got to make sure that it is a deal that works not just for our partners in Europe we want to have a very good relationship with them obviously, but one that works for the United Kingdom. I think there is a good chance that we can get a deal but I think it is for the EU to understand that it is for them to move as well. Meanwhile Brexit campaigners have notched up pressure on Boris Johnson to ditch last year's withdrawal agreement and the Northern Ireland Protocol. The Center for Brexit Policy claimed Britain will have a worse trading relationship with the EU than Austria under a no-deal scenario. They blamed the Prime Minister's divorce deal, claiming the government risks breaking a number of promises from the 2019 Conservative election manifesto. John Longworth, CBP Director General, said, Only by scrapping the WA nip and driving a new hard bargain with Europe can Boris deliver on his key promises taking back control and getting a real Brexit done.